Het is een nieuwe dag en vandaag gaan we bij een iconische radiomaker, een labelrunner, een hele toffe mens, maar vooral ook een goede vriend van me, Charles Peterson. Let's go! It's an interesting thing, jazz, isn't it? Because jazz is like the holy grail. Jazz, if you like music, it doesn't get any better than jazz. And I think that people, as they mature, will all come to that conclusion. Because jazz is subversive, but it's also beautiful and academic and classic. So it's like great art. This generation, which is very in evidence now, very much in evidence now, have just taking the music from the elders and shaping it in their way and they feel that they own it and that's really really important and that is why there is a very exciting movement of musicians and performance and events and writing that's coming out of the UK right now. How satisfied are you today by the UK jazz scene in general? Me sitting here, like going on about British jazz, it's great, but let's not forget where the home of jazz is. You know, it's America, and America is on its journey with jazz itself. And I think that at the moment, as much as the UK is going through a beautiful period, you know, uh, the States is really really interesting at the moment from a jazz point of view there's a whole generation of musicians who've really stepped up as well you know and they've used social media and modern technology to really boost their music just like they have done over here in the UK so um, I think see American jazz musicians tend to be more um, influenced in moving their music forwards by hip-hop right inevitably because hip-hop's so big But hip hop's only a small part of the rhythm sort of canon that you can go to. Europe, you know, I think the musicians have got a wider set of influences which go beyond hip hop. So as a result, the textures and the rhythms that are being integrated into a traditional sort of history are fascinating. And that's what's making the UK sound special. And the music that you can hear subtly in, in, in their sound it ranges from, you know, Northern European, more ambient ECM type of aesthetics through to banging grime and drill and drum and bass and jungle. So all those elements are thrown into the music. And then of course, Africa and the world. Because the one thing about the UK, again, and London, in that sense, is that it is one of the world's great melting pots. I mean, Shabaka Hutchins is a great example of an artist who is certainly working very hard. He created the position that he's in by working and doing all the tough gigs. You know, he didn't just turn up and become an impulse signed artist. He spent 25 years developing his art and his craft, which I think is another thing that gives jazz a big strength these days when things are so easy to be able to almost be but to be a good baritone or a good flute player or a good bass player you gotta work at it no one's gonna you can't just that's old school craftsmanship so when you go to a concert and that's I think also one of the reasons that this music is doing so well is that people are actually looking at the artists you know with eyes like that because they're like wow you know I can't do that you can mm -hmm. 